I generally wake up around 5.30 in the morning, pretty early, and um, I'm a sleepy guy in the morning. So what I had to do is figure out a way to get up and um, get myself kind of centered before I actually start my day. So the first part of that is actually drinking something which is not coffee and not even tea, but it's a concoction that was kind of put together by my herbalist wife for me. So after I make my morning brew, I generally come outside and I sit and I meditate for about 10 to 15 minutes. What this does is it allows me to essentially clear my mind, allow my mind to basically be free of any distraction before I actually start to write. And every morning I write for about an hour, hour and a half before I start my actual work day. So the majority of my day is spent actually in this room and on this sofa looking at this, doing Zoom calls and talking to my team. But what I have found is really, really useful for me is in addition to getting up and going outside and getting some vitamin D between meetings, is actually spending time looking at books. You know, even in five, 10 minute increments, if I can actually spend time with Marcus Aurelius thinking about stoicism, especially in this time of the coronavirus, it really, really helps. In addition to that, I have a whole pile of books that I'm going through at any one time, pulling knowledge from them. Hopefully it turns into wisdom over time. In between meetings or sometimes when I'm talking to people, I do these sketches. Again, in between Zoom meetings to keep my creative juices going, I've been also working on a rewrite of my novel that I wrote a couple of years ago. And this is a way for me to visually see, being a designer, I tend to look at things uh, in terms of information flow. So design can teach you a lot about how to move your space and make it optimal for working. So in my case, my wife was kind enough to actually turn our living room into a painting studio. And it's a great relief for me to move from being on Zoom seven, eight hours a day into a space where I can literally just make paint move around and I can also do drawings, old school images um, in a way that I normally can't if I'm in a sketch file or if I'm in Photoshop only. So for me, a lot of the best ways to deal with this isolation is actually to move the space and transform it to what you need. What I try to do is keep, keep feeding the machine, you know, keep the battery going, keep the energy moving. And all these micro increments of information coming from, you know, the wisdom of books and the wisdom of like art and design inspiration, all kind of charge my battery. And this allows my battery to be full, to give away to my design team, to give away to my work during the day. So there's a balance between what I'm giving away and what I'm taking in. And then hopefully I'm the synthesis of those two elements together it allows me to be more effective as a creative person and allows me to give more back to my company, to my design team, and to my family.